Hi guys, I'm Kushbu and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do an unboxing video. Like, let me guys, let me know if you guys like unboxing videos or not because I have like a lot of unboxing to do. I have a list of unboxing video to post. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead with the video and. What I'm going to be unboxing today is from Shein. It's this box over here. It came from the general post office, as you can see, Nepal Sundara. And uh, yeah, let's open this box up and see what's inside. Um, there are like, I guess, so two sixty dollars worth of uh, <clears throat> stuffs inside this bag, inside this box. And uh, the reason why I ordered was um in my head okay inside my head i had already planned a bali trip as, as soon as sudip's mom and dad were back from uk and uh, it was just like a day that the bali trip came inside my mind and then i looked for different kind of places that i would want to be going in bali and all that stuff and uh, within a day i found myself shopping for bali like nothing was fixed sudip didn't know about this plan nor my family, nothing. But I was so excited because I knew I was going for sure. So I was so excited that I ended up doing shopping first thing. First thing. And then, and more surprisingly, this stuff came uh, within, I think, three days of my order. It, this was the first, like, I've shopped a lot from CN, but this was the first time it came, like, so early. It came, like, in within three days and. Uh, then I went to General Post Office Sundhara to bring it, and if you can, if you like, if you guys go through my Instagram, you guys should have known that I once said that please do not order anything from this Post Office EMS, and do order it from DHL and all that stuff. But then I take my words back, guys. If you shop from Nepal, please do not do DHL because they pay like forty percent of what your total value of your stuffs are so 40 percent is i think a lot that the government wants to be taking away from us so i don't think that's worth it and also i told not to go to sundara was the reason why i told not to go to sundara was because the customer service there sucked like it's a um government office and like any other government office in nepal the customer service sucked and uh, that's why i told you but then i don't know whether um the people have changed or the system has changed this time it was like very smooth and the people were like very nice, very polite, very humble. I was shocked and I didn't face any kinds of, um, you know, I didn't face any kinds of um, bad experiences this time. So I would recommend everyone to do it from Sundara Post Office EMS. They t I think they call it EMS. Yeah, EMS. It's cheaper and the customer service now is good, so you can get a things like easily. Not rather than when it was like, before. oh my god, the hassle was really really tough before. So yeah, as I said, I was planning for Bali, and then I got excited and ordered myself stuffs, and then my Bali plan cancelled. Why it got cancelled was because I found out that I was pregnant. It feels so weird saying this on camera. I mean, I've been hiding this for such a long time. I am four and a half months pregnant now. And um, and once I found out that I was pregnant, there was no going to Bali for me because um, the doctor restricted any kind of um, travel, exercise and all that stuff because of which I couldn't exercise as well for three months for at least my first trimester and she asked me to gain weight they like did my prenatal check checking and all that antenatal checking and all that stuff and they told me that Khani kura and all that stuff so i've been stopping myself and i've stopped exercise now that i'm in second semester trimester i can do exercise but then she told me not to do heavy exercise just like walk so because of that i've gained weight as well and bali got cancelled but now that I'm on my second trimester, I can travel. I have planned my holiday for not Bali, but I wanted like a hassle-free, not very adventurous, like um, fun, free kind of a holiday where I would not be, you know, having difficult times. So I chose Maldives. So yeah, I'm going to Maldives. And since like the temperature for Bali and Maldives are like around the same, like I think Maldives is way more hotter, but then 
these are the clothes that I can wear for Maldives as well so I'm opening this for you guys which has been unopened untouched lying in the corner of my closet for I think three months more than three months so yeah let's open this up so the first first thing first if you can see here there are like accessories and all that stuff and the funny thing what happened oh my god I'm talking a lot it's already seven minutes that I've been talking okay, wait. last thing again the, the funny thing that happened was like uh, the people in Sundhara office like you know they open their stuff uh, in front of you and they ask you to show what what is inside so that they can like you know um, get idea of um, what kind of valuable stuffs you have and then they charge accordingly okay so they don't even charge much it's like i think the maximum they would charge is 100 1500 or something like that i i think my they charged me like 400 something and the funny thing is he asked me what's inside and i told um luga haru jutta haru and then shades and all that stuff and they were like what's the khalko shades and then i opened it and ticket at cool like not so expensive and all that of course she is not expensive okay so i told expensive khalko and you can see and then this shade came up <laughs> it's like so funny oh my god at least this saved my some few bucks for me so this shade came up okay and they were like eh it's the khalko it's the khalko it's the khalko it's the khalko and they charged me like only 400 for all this thing that um um came within so this is my first shade that i kind of like like it's kind of cool you know but then um yeah so that recommends your list it's funny like it's a cheap color it's not cheap oh you can see she in my chip salmon but maybe they were expecting like i don't know what they were expecting to um charged me a lot but then they charged me only 400 something just looking at one shape that i had they're like hey i was like wow so okay another shades over here i don't even know what's what i ordered because i was so excited and i just ordered in like a day yeah i know and i think you too and then they were laughing and they said hey so this is the one okay so this is the second one like it would be perfect for vacation right like i don't usually wear this kind of shades but then for vacation i like because i tend to lose and scratch my shades and all that so vacation go like it's a mob thing so like i order these kind of um inexpensive tasmas or more more fashionable less expensive so shades number three this is and it's it comes with all dust bag and uh, box and everything so it's fine you know like vacation malaga and it just you just this much you can do whatever you want faldo or rakha or whatever or give it to your sisters mirror the there's a saman everything goes to my sisters so so this is the next one these kind of shades like i really wanted to wear but then it didn't go well with my um face especially now that i've gained a lot of weight i've gained like i think Ever since my doctor told me that mirror weight pugina and then I have to eat more and all that stuff, I think I've gained like 6.5 or 7 kg but till now. And Motaigasa and then because of which I'm scared that these will not fit me. So the next thing here, I think three shades, yeah? Till now three shades. So the next thing here is um the shoes, these kinds of um ones like on any beachy type go that will go perfect with any beach attire so it's perfect for my Maldive strip as well it's this kind of you know like bamboo kind of top oh. one so look at it I'll do like a try on haul I'll have to change my um, location for that position location whatever you call it so I've got like a lot of clothes as well she in today I'll do a, like a try on a haul and uh, accessories for say when I'm here I'll just finish it finish with it I've got few bikinis and swimming costumes as well that I wanted to wear when I had lost my weight when I was into exercise and all that stuff and I was kind of in good shape let's say for these kind of stuff so but now I've gained weight and but then it's okay. I'm happy for my new transformation. Like 
I think this this is the first time like when I look at my belly and when I see it getting bigger, I get like more excited. I'm like, ah, oh, my belly is getting big, and I'm waiting for my belly to get bigger because I'm like almost 20 weeks and I see no significant like it's not like a pregnant belly at all. It's like food belly, if you know what I mean. It's like food belly, and then I look at other people online and check how their belly looks it, or when they are in my age of pregnancy and all that stuff. And people like have big belly that people can like you know see and say oh she's pregnant and mine is like food belly so it, it'll be like oh my gosh she's fat so yeah the this is the um swimsuit it looks kind of big i'm not trying this swimsuit on for you guys because i am shy like that okay no swimming costume trial and this is i guess another stuff over here yeah perfect for I can style this for my bitch getaway and uh, just to let you know this is not sponsored in any way I've been sponsored by Shein when I was just <coughs> baby stepping my way to blog spot when I was just starting as a blogger Shein approached me I think she was, Shein was the first company to approach me for these kind of stuff you know and they were called she, she inside then now they are she in and so i have like kind of uh, emotional attachment to that brand and i always get it from there because it's so cheap and especially like when i have a vacation to go i always shop from this stuff site so this is another thing i don't know why i got this but yeah it's okay <clears throat> I've got like a lot of hair accessories. I don't know why, what I was thinking. Maybe I wanted to look cute on my Bali trip. But I don't know why I didn't feel like Bali was a very pregnancy friendly place for me to go. Because I was excited for Bali, but then when I, once I found out that I was pregnant, I was like, mm mm, no going to Bali. So, this is another thing. I got like a lot of hair accessories. I don't know why I wanted to look cute. And this is another pair of scissors that I got. And it's like this. You can see it. Yeah, something like this. I'm so glad I made a plan for Maldives because it really goes well with my Maldives trip. And this is the bag that I ordered. I don't know what do you call this. I don't know. Bamboo or bamboo? Um, yeah, this bag. It's very simple. I don't know why I ordered this very simple bag. Because I was looking at kind of fancy kind of looking bag, but then I <coughs> ended up ordering very simple one. So I've got accessories over here. Okay, some more hair accessories. Few of my body accessories and all that stuff I'm done with accessories and all that stuff so now I have to um, show you how I look in these outfits like how it looks on me versus how it looked on the model and all that stuff and I will do a review on how the mm, quality of that stuffs are and also I'm very scared now that I'm fat whether it'll fit me or no and also I have like very skimpy and uh, crop top and backless kind of a outfit here which which I don't think I I can rock it now that I've gained like almost 7 kg so let's see let's change my background and I'll be back okay so hi guys do not mind my track because I always wear a track like I'm always decked up from here and above and down here I wear whatever I was wearing so <clears throat> yeah I'm in a different background and you can't see my full length because the ring light that I have like in this side of my room I need a ring light and then the lowest height that I go in can go on my ring light is this much and because of which you can't see my full fa full length and uh, I will have to bring a chair here and get up on the chair to show you if I have like a full thing that I need to be showing okay so yeah let's 
go ahead and see what comes first in my hand. This one looks like a dress. A very flowy kind of a dress which I can already see is a see-through. I hate when my... Okay. I just hate it when my um, outfit that I've ordered comes as a see-through. Like, just hate it. So yeah, let's okay so this is the first dress which is kind of uh, loose on the front but then i can make it work it's okay and other than that everything fits perfectly you can see it's like the perfect length for me and uh, yeah it fits well it's like a glove and it kind of looked like a see-through but right now when it's on it is not I think it's because of the light like I had it in front of the light so I think because of that it looked like that and as you can see I've gained weight part which is like very very open for me like kind of loose but then it's okay I can make this work because I've always been a flat chested girl all my life so like open stuff does not really bother me at all but now that i'm i am preggers i have my little two sisters growing big and yeah it's okay i like it so let's try on the next one so the next one kind of look like the same kind of uh, material not not same material but the print kind of looks the same but then oh it's like two pieces it's like a two-piece which looks kind of very very big for me i don't know why is it so big oh so oh there there's a dressing that i can make it's my size so yeah this is a pant and then there is a top over here okay so this is the next dress it is a crop top that i have to tie it at the front and uh and the pant that's like way too loose for me it was way too loose but then thank god there's a dressing that i can make it tight if i want and oh this pant is kind of kind of sexy it's the length is quite long i have to cut the length and this is a pant that looks like a skirt and yeah once i cut the length i can wear this so yeah this is okay and also my pregnant belly does not look very big on this one or I don't know I don't know if this light is blinding me if it does it's okay I'm proud of my belly okay so this one also I kind of liked um, the material wise and also also I wish this was not very low very very like if I open this dressing it's like this big if you can see it's like this big and I have to like really really tighten up the draw drawstrings to make it work and I don't like how it creases up here when I tighten the drawstrings but then but then it's okay I can make this work so the next is this bikini that I ordered um, which I am of course not going to be wearing and showing it to you here but then you get the point it's like <coughs> a tan color bikini which looks kind of big for me this is the bottom and this is the top so this is the top it will not you can see it's like um, high low kind of a um, free flowy kind of top I'll wear this with these shorts so that you can see it properly because it is pant it's like print on print on print on print and you can't really figure out how this top is so into the shorts which I really hope it fits okay so this is the top it looks like this if I want I can wear it like this or I can tie this up here something like this or I can put this inside or do whatever I want with this one this is like I can style it how, however I want and this is the shorts that i got which is uh, which fits me but then it's a little uncomfortable to my belly 
So I don't know if I'll be taking this with me or not. I think I need to put this lady to hello over here. So that okay. Yeah. yeah. This one I like. I can wear it. But then the shorts is kinda tight to my belly. It's not like it's not very tight, it's like fine, but then if I wear this for like I think two hours or three hours I'm gonna feel uncomfortable on my belly I have that feeling so the next outfit is this um, dress that I was very excited about because of the color and all that stuff okay so yeah this is this dress which everything else is like pretty fine and nice except for my chest part because this is way 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 too loose for me like i can have a nip slip anytime if i wear this like i don't know how i'm gonna make this work i think i'm gonna tighten this um string for that but for now if i leave my hand um you all can you can all see my nipple which i do not want it to happen so yeah let's go on and try a different thing not happy with this one because i was very excited and this one looks like this one looks very beautiful and everything else apart from the chest part is perfect so let's go into another one so this is the next item it's like a backless um dress long flowy dress if you can see this is kind of okay i'm not digging it as much because this outfit even if i was not pregnant would have made me look like i was pregnant if you can see i don't know the fit of this is like very makes my belly look big now right now i am but so that's not a big deal for me but then what I'm wanting to say here is, even if I was not, I would have looked pregnant because this dress, I don't know. I don't know if the material is too thick or if the fit is not that good to me or what, but... Oh, can you see? I look pregnant. Can you look at my belly? <laughs> I have two more stuff to show you, show you. Both are on the same kind of color tone, palette, yellow. So yeah, this is a dress and a crop top. I'm scared of crop top these days. So yeah, let's try it. Okay, so this, I think it's like this. Okay, so this is the dress. <gasps> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still wearing this hairband. I didn't notice. Okay, so whatever. Okay, so this is the... Uh, two-piece dress which I kind of like by the way you can see it yeah it looks like this it does not it's not very cropped so my belly is not shown that much and the top part kind of looks like very tight on the camera but then it's not and uh, the fit is nice the fabric is nice uh, yeah I like it I really like this one the uh, length is nice everything is nice for me like at this time when i feel like i'm like very fat and all that stuff this one makes me look kind of okay though i'm fat okay if you can see my belly is fat but okay so not last but not the list i have this halter top i guess i'm guessing yes it's a halter top so yeah, it's the halter top that I wanted to wear with the um, shorts I ordered, I guess. So yeah, let's just get on to this. Okay, so this is the halter top, which kind of goes with the skirt as well. But yeah, kind of, it's like a suede material and I like it, though I look fat. <laughs> it's okay if I do this. I can work it out so yeah this is the top with um, crochet kind of a detail in it and uh, yeah I am liking it so 
there are few nice items few really good items and few that are like why did i buy it but then yeah it's okay i'm sorted for my maldives trips and um by the time i post this i i think i'll be already back from my trip so yeah do not forget to see my maldives pictures on my instagram that is kuzbu gauchan and yeah i will be back like really really soon with yet another unboxing video so so yeah please like this video subscribe to my channel and um share if you want to and stay tuned for another unboxing videos and all that if you will like it